Hello everyone, happy Saturday evening. I hope you're having a lovely weekend so far. So I am streaming on YouTube and Facebook so I just need to check my streams in a moment and then uh, just a little bit of chit chat and then we'll jump straight in. This is the project we're making today. So I'm really excited about this one. I just love how this looks but I'm just going to check on my streams just to make sure um, everything's working okay and that you can hear me. So if you can chat pop hi in the chat come and say hello would love to hear what you guys are up to this weekend and also what the weather's like because we have storm is it kathleen at the moment it's it's going to the side of me at the moment so we're just getting a little bit of the wind so we don't have any of the rain at the moment so um i think we had the rain from that last night so i think we'll be all right so just checking the streams here um looks like we're all okay I hope you're having a good weekend hi Laurie I can see you hopefully you're okay from Florida which part of Florida are you from like the north south Okay, so we are currently reworking with the Handmade with Love collection today. And it is actually on sale right now. It's half price. So the, all the die sets are $12.49 and the stamp set, which has also got some dies in there as well, that is $9.99. So that is an absolute bargain. And today we're going to be playing with some bits and bobs. Um, this one here the twisted bonbon cracker now i do have tutorials quite a few tutorials out already for some of the other sets so let me just quickly go through some of them um most of the other bits and bobs from this uh, collection have sold out so we'll start with the birdhouse here it is i love this one this this one was made by the design team member vicky and this is absolutely perfect for popping in little treats so this is 12.49 you do need a large format machine for this one you can pop your treats in there the roof section just closes just like that and then we have the picnic basket now i've got some treats in there there we go and again i've made quite a few tutorials on these as well the one i haven't really made many on is this one which we're going to be playing with today and here is the picnic basket die uh, 18 dies in there this is 12 pounds 49 as well and you can literally just use this tray at the bottom here if you want to just pop some cookies in there you can just use it as a loaf tin and uh, this one here was also used made using the picnic basket as well but this is just the tray and i have a tutorial for this on my channel and i've got some little tiny coffee cups in this one these are so cute pop some little uh, jelly beans in there it's gonna be absolutely perfect now this was made using the ice cream die but all the information for this one is in the tutorial for that one and you can find that on my channel and today we're going to be making the twisted bonbon cracker so let's have a quick closer look at that and these are the papers we're going to be using today so here is the bonbon cracker it literally just opens up like that and you can pop your treats inside and you also get a little die here so that you can make a window so we're going to be making a window with this one as well so the papers for this particular collection have sold out so i am going to be using some alternate papers which will be nice because we're jazzing up the collection um hi barbara oh she's from the tampa bay area I can actually check the weather where it is there. I'm absolutely obsessed with checking the weather, so I'm guessing it's sunny. Okay, hi Debbie. Oh, am I frozen? Which one? Am I frozen on Facebook? Let's have a look. If I come back on Facebook, let me know if I'm still frozen on Facebook, let me know. Um, if you can't get me on Facebook, then jump over to the live stream um, on, on YouTube, which is Helen Griffin UK. So 
so Barbara Saints not frozen on YouTube so if you can hop over to YouTube you can do but if you are on Facebook and it's all sorted out okay do let me know just trying to find out myself on my side of things to see where we're at I think it's okay for me I'm str I can see here on the page so um, I think things are all okay here hopefully Debbie you'll be able to fix that but just jump over to uh, YouTube if there's a um, a problem there watching that okie dokie so let's jump straight in so the papers that I'm using today is a free download and if you are on YouTube there is a link to these papers this is the free download from die cutting essentials 113 and I'll be using these two today and because they are printables I can print them double-sided so I just printed out this pattern first and then I put it back in my printer and it printed out the other side so you don't have to have a printer that can do double-sided you can easily pop that through manually and it's this gorgeous like garden themed paper pack here So there's loads of different patterns that you can choose from and the great thing about the digital is that you can print out as many as you need okay so let's run this through have a quick look at the die set you are going to be needing a large format machine for this so I'll be using this die here this will be the window die we do have a heart trellis and these little label dies as well that you can also make windows with so I am going to run this through twice to get this through. I didn't want to do too much preparation. This is one of those step-by-step -step ones where I'm not too prepared and have everything done, just so that you don't miss anything. So I am actually going to run this through on this piece of paper and then on the next one. And again, I'm using my big machine for this one. So I do recommend the Sizzix switch um, I'm using a different one, the Go Power and Emboss. I have both of those machines, but I have the Go Power uh, set up at the moment. Okay, here is our first one. Now, the main reason why I have decided to do double sided printing on this one is because of these ends here. I've, I've done a bit of um, inking on there because it's this is just a one-sided sheet that I printed out. Um, I have used fossilised amber on that one and with a little bit of walnut stain just a smidge around the edges. So I thought next time I'll print it out double-sided and then I won't have to worry about it. And again this is going to be absolutely perfect for any occasion for Christmas perfect for Christmas because it is a cracker and um, again if you're making loads of these you can make them in bulk and store them flat as well so you can make them in advance so again they're gonna be really good if you do table favors and fun things like that and they are quite sizable as well so you can you can fit quite a few different types of gifts in here I've got fudge in there uh, this one says sweets but with the um, handmade with love stamp set it's got great uh, handmade stamps on there as well so if you do make anything homemade or handmade you can pop that on there and if you make to sell it's going to be perfect for that too and I have some off cuts here some nice size pieces so I'll be keeping those possibly could make some matching gift tags as well using this if I do something on this side so that it stands out that would look really nice too trying to stay tidy so I'm going to pop this back on my sheet but I will keep out this little die here because we're going to be making a window so just to make it easier I'm going to fold everything first and then run everything through I'm going to fold it so that I can see where the creases are because this is quite a patterned paper so use a bone folder 
and fold all of the score lines. And I will be using glue, possibly some tape, I haven't decided yet, um, because I can move over to some stamping whilst our glue dries properly. So I'm just doing all of the main score lines first, the straight ones. Then we have some diagonals here. So it'd be easier if I show you on here, we have these diagonals here. So these come towards you, they come outwards instead of behind they come forward so again this one's a little bit more tricky but you can actually do it by bending this up and then pressing that down now it's really important to get some really good score line presses on these so do the same on the other side I'll be doing the same on the other one as well press that up there we go and you can see here if I fold this up you can see how that is going to fold but if, when we have the other one popped on the other side there will be a bit of tension and I'll be showing you exactly where to apply the pressure here to actually get these closed now we have these long lines here I'll show you here these lines here on this section here this is the one where we have to make sure that this is crisply folded this one in this little tiny little section here it doesn't matter so much but it's really important that this one here is nicely creased uh, I don't know if I'll be able to show you on I might be able to show you on this one actually as you can see this is the side that's folded and this isn't it can bend and fold it will do it itself but this is the good one here that we need to get done as you can see the way it folds up it does kind of fold in that direction first whilst it closes so now I've got all that done, I can then fold these. So it's easier probably for you to see on this section here. This is the line here. This is the line here on the large section. So I'm just going to fold those up and crease those sections. And the same on the other side. There we go. Right, so I'm going to run that through now with this window die. Now the window die or you can use it as just a mat as well, like I've done here. But it's important to have this window die here along the, um, the tab that's here, because when we join up this one on the other side, like so, if your window tab was here, you would have this tab here now, now showing, which we don't want that. So um, pop your window die on the panel that has the tab next to it. If you want to use some tape as well just to hold that down you can do so let's run this through i'm only going to have a window just on just in the rock the one place i'm not going to have it on both sides okay let's run that through and if you have any questions during this live just uh pop them in and i'll happily answer questions Sorry you guys if that's really loud. Okay, I am actually going to keep that piece as well because that's a nice little size there. Again, stay tidy, stick that back on. Right, so we have that now and I'm just going to, before we start folding the other side, I'm just gonna quickly add our piece of acetate, which I have just here. I'm actually going to be, I'm actually going to cheat instead of actually measure this out. So I'm just grabbing my Sharpie pen, wherever I put it. Here it is. I'm just going to pop this where it's going to go. I'm just going to make a quick mark there where I need to cut it. You can measure it out exactly if you want to. I'm just gonna grab my little paper trimmer, go for my tiny one. I'm 
then I'm just going to use a little bit of glue all the way around. Now you do have to be careful once you pop this on there not to kind of move it about or anything like that because you could actually get some of the glue onto the acetate window and you'd have to kind of scratch that off once um, the glue has dried. Hi Martha. Gosh, everyone's in Florida at the moment. What time is it in Florida? Is it kind of like lunchtime? Early afternoon? It's just gone seven o'clock here and the sun is about to set. So I'm using the book binding glue, but if you have the cosmic shimmer, that would also work really well. I'm just adding just my glue around here and then I'm gonna be really careful adding my acetate window now because I don't really want to be moving it about. So I'm just gonna place it down, give it a little press. I'm not smooshing it or moving it up and down or left and right. Right, I'm happy with that. Let's move that out of the way. That is our window done. Sorry if it's a bit bright. Okay, so let's get quickly get these all folded up now. I'll throw away my scraps. So I absolutely love this paper. And I'm already eyeing this up to make a mini album with it. So I am looking forward to that. And the paper that I have used to print this out on is the Creative Craft Products A4 White Super Smooth. It's 300 GSM, so make sure that your printer can do uh, 300 or thick, thick card. Um, mine's a photo printer, and generally photo printers do uh, print out the thicker cards. If you have like an office type printer that just does documents, um, you may have a bit of trouble with that. Just go for a thinner cardstock that will go through your printer. Um, Generally, with the photo printers, they do borderless and they take the um, the thicker sheets. Now, I do get quite get quite a lot of questions about printers. Um, my printer is an EcoTank Epson EcoTank. Uh, it, I, it's it's no longer made. It's an ET two seven zero zero. And I really, really like it. So I definitely recommend the Epson Eco Tanks. And it printed out this 300 GSM really nicely. And because this is a super smooth cardstock, you do actually get a nice print on there as well. So this is actually really good for also doing your ordinary stamping on, as it is super smooth. Okay, so that is now done. So let's grab this now and then we can add these two together. I'm actually going to just pop that window in the middle there and do that. So let's add our glue. And if you're just joining in and catching up, there is uh, this will be available on the replay as well. So today we are making the Twisted Bonbon Cracker. Now this is really, really, really important. You need to make sure that the, your glue has properly dried before you start to do this twisted area. So give it a good half an hour. I'm going to give it a good five minutes because I'm live here. Um, but in the meantime, whilst this is drying, I will move on to doing some of the stamping for the front of our box. So again, if you are just joining in, I'm using the Handmade with Love collection, which is all half price at the moment. So this die set that I'm working with at the moment is the, the Twisted Bonbon and it's $12.49. Okay, so that is our first one done. So I'm just going to fold this here, add our glue in exactly the same way. I'm trying to go up into all of the edges and the corners. Another great thing if you're in a hurry to get this done is to use some red tape and then add some glue over the top. There we go. And if you have any questions, just pop them in the comments. 
Now I am noticing that there's more people chatting on Facebook during the day when I go live and there's more people chatting on YouTube in the evenings when I'm live so it is a really 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 different place I think depending on what time of day it is okay so that is our glue done I'm just gonna leave it like that now this kind of looks very Eastery but we're in we're still in spring so we're all good so let's pop that over there to dry properly and we'll move over to this stamp set now sorry if that's really bright um, so this is currently 9.99 you also get the outline dies for all of these stamps so I have them just here and you get all these lovely stamps it's A5 as well there we go and these are absolutely perfect if you make to sell or you made loads make loads of handmade things like um, one year I made or crocheted loads of blankets to give away for Christmas it took me about six months to make them all but I had a lot of fun doing them but if I had this stamp set here I could have easily have put handmade on the tags got the homemade there 100% handmade so even if you do baking and things like that it's going to look really good for that as well so uh, I'm going to use this as our practice because I haven't this is uh, just drying here so what shall we use I think I might go for let's see I like the sentiments as well but I kind of want to concentrate on the handmade um, I could probably put that on the back um, I'm gonna go for the happy birthday there we go and let's choose some card I think I put my yellow card back should I go for yellow card it's fine this is drying still I'm giving it as much time as possible um, let's have a look I've got yellow shirt but yeah let's go for that so um, should I go for yeah I'm gonna go for just blacking keep it simple keep it simple and we'll go for black right I'm gonna be using some Versamark sorry Versafine is this going to be big enough it should be there we go stamp properly I didn't have any ink on the bottom bit there we go I think I need to get my stamping mat out so if you have any stamps that don't go properly use yourself a little foam board that's much better this is Chloe's creative cards I know um, crafters companion also do a purple one now I can all I have to do now is just grab the die that cuts this out which is I think it's this one yes it is and then just run that through I think the yellow goes quite nicely with that spring theme and it's really nice to actually have that pink gingham just showing through so I am actually just going to use my little machine for this one which is also magnetic oh dear I dropped it now where did it go here it is so I'm, I'm actually using my magnetic platform so that is holding that beautiful um, die in place there we go. this is the magnetic platform I love this I'm 
Martha's saying it's 216 and Laurie Camper's saying it's 215 so taken one minute apart there just checking on everything again should all be okay If I'm still frozen on Facebook, let me know. Okay, so let's carry on now. So we now have this ready to go on to our bonbon there. So I'm gonna set that aside and this has had a good chance now to dry. So let's get this all popped in. Oh, I just pressed that in. I probably didn't have enough glue on that press that down again right if that capsizes inwards we can fix that later so we now have this section just here so we have all of our diagonals already done this is now wanting to go around so we now we're going to just do that one there and then do this one next to it and then you only have to really do this once and then that should just twist round just like that okay so you should now have this section here i will have to fix my little acetate window once we've done so what you need to do now is just press this down really nicely get those creases let it know what it's supposed to be doing now because it really does try to resist that first bit there there we go now once you've actually done this and opened it and closed it a few times it literally just remembers it keeps those curves in so you can just do that so the hardest bit is just doing that bit there for the first time so let's repeat that this does kind of go the other way so we're going to do this the other way and this is why it's really important to get those little creases popped in same there hold that down curve that in and then curve that round twist it round and if you do get any bit of resistance here I can see that's bending in there you can just pop this out there there we go and then just get my fingers in there and just twist that around there we go and that there is our box so I just need to just fix this area here I did weaken it by trimming off this section and then the the acetate came out so I'm gonna just pop that back in again I don't know if I will want to fix this live on camera there we go I'm just gonna push those ends in there we go and then I will I will add some more glue around the inside of there so let's just um, pop some fudge in now I'm going to pretend this is homemade but I wouldn't actually give this to someone and tell someone that it's homemade so it's just for just for tonight so let's pop these in this should keep the acetate window in as well pop those in no one's ever going to believe you if you said you had made those unless you're really good at wrapping up little sweeties and then pop that in and there we have our little fudge so uh, we do have this to pop on there maybe I should have chosen pink but I tend to just reach for pink a lot so we're going to be doing something a bit different different color today so grab yourself a foam pad you can add ribbon if you love ribbons as well or some sparkles some diamantes i'm just gonna pop that whoops oh no <laughs> that's not good let's pop that back in there we go there there we go and that is our bonbon cracker so i do want to 
let's just pretend I made those we'll turn that over let's make a quick gift tag so I'm where are my off cuts let's make something with the off cuts here so you don't need a die to make a tag you can just make one yourself so I'll just trim this to around two inches and then I'll trim this to five so two by five grab a scoring board now or you can just manually fold it just grab one of my little ones I'm gonna score this at two two and a quarter and fold that over then we have ourselves a lovely little gift tag there we go and then crocodile time I'll go for one of the larger holes there we go and if you want to corner around it you can do go that's looking really nice and then I'm just going to pop on maybe um, I think this one would look really nice just there yep. okay and remember to only use the ha the homemade or handmade stamp if you've actually made it not shop bought don't pretend need a bigger the right at the back nope too small still here we go should I go for another colour Um, I think I'll stick with black because it's nice and bold but just experiment maybe pick out a color from your papers and again the free paper download is listed in the YouTube description and again if you're just joining us you can always catch up on the replay there we go don't want to lose that so I'm going to pop that back wherever I put the sheet I've lost the sheet that I was using there you go I've got one die left I've lost all the others <laughs> right let's get that through actually I need the dies because I need to use it to do the handmade right I think I've just put something back into the wrong order let's see if it is there oh yeah it's at the front right so we need to use this one here okay so you just need to swivel this round till you get it in the right place there you go that was quick and then I'm going to just quickly run that through I'm using the yellow cardstock because it matches the uh, the happy birthday that we used. Oop, put that back. And then on the inside of this tag, you can use that for writing on as well. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that on here. Isn't that cute? Or you can pop it. On the inside you can pop it on the back and put another happy birthday or a bow or something on there I am gonna keep that quite flat though so let's pop in pop this on with some glue I am so tempted just to pop it here I think that looks nicer just hidden hidden just inside there and again this fudge is not homemade 
just in case you've just joined in. <laughs> I did not make that fudge. Um, just make sure you get it all correct and you have done something handmade when you're making this. Okay, so I'm just going to get some twine now. Um, do I have... Yeah, I can use this. I just grabbed this. It was just lying around over there. So we'll pop that through. There we go. And I'll find somewhere interesting to pop that as well. I'm going to keep leave that blank because I'm not too sure what I'm going to be using this for just yet. So this now matches our gift really nicely. So if you love making your table favors and having everything matched and coordinated, then that's then this is a really good little paper collection to use, especially along with these as well so here is the picnic basket so i need to carry on now with this paper collection to make a lovely picnic basket and we have these beautiful coffee cups in a caddy using the picnic basket base which is like, like a loaf tin this was these little coffee cups were made using the ice cream dies and the tutorial for that is on my channel got an ordinary one I absolutely love this this is so bright and sunny if you know anyone that loves sunflowers then this is gonna be absolutely perfect for them as well so these papers are also in their free download that is linked down below got another picnic basket there so I'm just gonna quickly look at the comments Barbara says she loves the papers just downloaded them and ordered the dice thank you so much Barbara I hope you have loads of fun with that. So all the dies are $12.49 at the moment and the stamp set is $9.99. So the whole collection is half price. And uh, hi Pippa. Yes, it will be available on the um, playback. Don't worry about missing the start. So don't worry at all about that. That's absolutely fine. Just as long as you have the playback, that is the most important thing. And the entire listing is in the YouTube description for everything that um, I've used. It's so much easier in the description box to have everything popped in the same place. Okay, so you may have already seen already, we also have a bonkers sale. I have no idea why it was labeled like that, but it's at the, but it's the bonkers bundle sale. And there are some um, simply made craft things in there as well. So there are a good few bundles. So if you loved the, um, I can't remember the name now. The Bohemian Days. There is the Bohemian Days bundle in there as well, so that's a lot of fun. And the Handmade With Love, it's all half price, it's 50% off, and that all ends on the 12th of um, April, so next Friday it all ends there. So, right, so the sun is about to set. My chicken does need tucking in, so I am going to have to go downstairs soon. I know that my sunset alarm is, gonna, is going to go off at, I think, uh, 1941 so in a few minutes my alarm will be going off but I've left that downstairs for whoever to deal with but if I get there first I get there first so thank you all so much for joining me today I will be going live again next week uh, Thursday so um, let me know if you have any ideas even if you're watching on the replay let me know if you have any ideas on what you would like to make um, it could be a possibility that I'll be continuing on some of those mini albums that we've started and getting the photos in and decorated. So, hi Lika. So, um, yeah, so hopefully you all have a lovely weekend or what's, less, what's left of it. And uh, with Storm Kathleen, stay safe and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now. <laughs>